I have for you some really cool and easy Dollar Tree crafts that you are going to love. Thank you Essential Stencil for sponsoring today's video. I cannot wait to show you. We're going to head to Dollar Tree, find some things that we can uh, create some DIY crafts to either sell or to keep for yourself. And I'm going to show you. We're going to head on straight to the plate area. I'm going to show you a quick craft you can make. You can sell these and people will buy them. So for a patriotic theme, I would go with like a blue or maybe this red and white one or even this gorgeous plaid one that I found and I took home. I love the way it looked. I also have this other blue distress one that I already had at home. I'm going to show you how you can turn these into beautiful crafts you can sell. All right, for the plaid one, I'm just going to quickly dry brush some white chalk paint. We're going to let that dry, very light coat, and then we're going to bring in these Robon transfers. Look at this. This is their patriotic floor one, and it is absolutely gorgeous. The other day, I went onto my porch, and there was a box filled with goodies. Essential stencil outdid themselves. Look at all these designs. There's a mixture of farmhouse and patriotic designs of stencils and Robon transfers. It was like Christmas morning. I really enjoyed this and I just cannot wait to show you what I did with this first one. I'm going to cut off the one that has these American flag and I'm just going to peel it off just like a sticker, place it in the center, and then it's as easy as just rubbing. This little rubbing tool is a scraper and they came from Essential Stencil and you're just going to rub it, rub it, and then you're just going to pull the plastic as you're rubbing it and the transfer is just going to transfer beautifully. And you can keep doing this until the entire transfer is on your platform. And then once it's on there, you just want to rub either with your fingers or with a clean rag just to make sure it's attached. And look how gorgeous that looks. I'm going to sand it down just a little bit. That paint that I added, dust it really well just for a smooth, clean finish. We're going to cut off another one. We're going to place it towards the bottom in the center and do the same thing. It is so easy so economical and these plates are gorgeous then i went on to the frame area and i got these plate or like picture frame stand you just place them right on there these golden ones look gorgeous with the design look how beautiful these are it's definitely one of my favorite and so easy now you can paint the plates if you want i love this style So you know that I love Essential Stencil and I love partnering with them and today is no different. All of their stencils are absolutely amazing, such high quality made stencils. Of course, they're beautifully made and designed and you can find them for any season, any holiday. I love that you can reuse them over and over again, especially if you're going to be selling your crafts, you can just buy them, reuse them over and over again. I love their rub-on transfers. They're so beautiful, so high-end, and so easy to apply. I cannot wait for you to check out. There is a link down in the description box, and if you use code BOP10, you get 10% off on your purchase. That's a great deal. Don't miss it if you want to try them. Again, the link is down below. While at Dollar Tree, I also grabbed these hanging shelves. I know you've seen them before. I use them all the time. I'm going to use three of them. I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful patriotic or any other style sign. And you can actually sell these for a profit. They're made out of wood. Yes, they're not solid wood, but they are solid enough where they look very high end and very professional. I'm going to paint one of them white, the other one red, and the other one blue. These are all Rust-Oleum chalk paint paints from their chalk line. And they're gorgeous. I'm just going to give them a rough one coat because we are going to distress them. I'm going to use my orbital sander, but you can certainly use a palm sander or a hand sander if you want. I just want it to have a little bit of a distressed look. This beautiful stencil is, again, from Essential Stencil. It says sipping, grilling, and chilling. I'm going to do the sipping in a white. I'm going to use Essential Stencil's brush, and then I'm going to do it towards the right side of the plank. The chilling, I'm going to do in white as well, in the blue one, and I'm going to center it right in the center, just stenciling it using the round and around motion of the brush. And then for the grilling, I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to do the bottom half with the blue. And then the top half, I'm going to do with the red. In the center, I'm just going to kind of dry brush them together, kind of joining them, but leaving just ever so slightly a little bit of white to poke through. Look how gorgeous 
and professional that looks. All right, we're going to grab more of that patriotic floral transfer. We're going to scrape it on, just rub it on, pull the plastic as we go, and look how beautiful that looks. We're going to place another one on the left side of the red plank. Same thing. Rub it on, pull as you go, and then it looks gorgeous. We're going to bring in one of these nautical ropes from Dollar Tree. We're going to flip the planks. We're going to leave about a three quarters of an inch in between each plank. And then hot glue the rope from one side, loop it on top, and then go and hot glue it on the other side. Of course, make sure that you keep the planks nicely, evenly separated. As you can tell, I keep moving them and having to straighten them. And that's very important. Then I'm just going to cut off the excess rope. I'm going to add some masking tape in the back just for extra security. Tell me this is not gorgeous. It's huge. It's a great size. You can certainly sell this at craft shows or sell it online. Love it. Another super easy one. This would be great for gift also. I'm going to grab this mug. It could also be like a soup mug or a coffee mug. And it is just a beautiful blue tone. I'm going to grab one more of those uh, rub-on transfers with the florals. I'm going to wipe well the surface, remove the transfer from the back. And then we're going to start at the top just kind of because it has that little ledge. You just want to start there, making sure you put it on there. And let me tell you, this transfer sticks amazing on the surface, like the ceramic glossy surface. As long as it's clean, gorgeous. I'm just going to rub it down and that's it. This is so cute. This is definitely for decorative purposes. You can also turn it into a candle, but a flower looks great. The next DIY craft, we are going to use this wood plank. Now, these are heavy duty. They're made to create uh, either tables or trays. You can find these at the hardware store. I'm going to sand it down just a little bit. It's just to smooth it out. And then I'm going to take a flexible sandpaper and do the edges. We're going to wipe it really, really well. And we're going to start painting it. We're going to do half of it red and half of it white. Now, if you go to the hardware store, these are going to be around $12, $14. It is worth it. They're so heavy duty. You can sell this definitely for a profit. I'm going to do the top half in the Farmhouse Red by rust -Oleum, and then we're going to do the bottom in white. So once it's dry, just make sure that you place the tape right over it again and do the white. I'm going to do the back of it white as well. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, and I always have those links down below in the description box. So when you are done watching, make sure you check it out. All right, there's all dry. I'm just going to very lightly sand it down just for a smooth finish as well as the back. Here's the stencil we're going to use from Essential Stencil. It says God Bless America and it has a portion that has stars. We're just going to use the one that says God Bless America. I'm going to tape it to the surface making sure that the America overlaps the uh, white. And then we're just going to do the top portion in the white and the bottom portion in the blue. Now, the word America is going to have a little bit of white. We're going to do the same thing we did earlier. We're just going to dry brush a little bit of paint in between both, just like you see me doing there. And watch this. The result is stunning. Look at that transition from the blue to the white. Ah, I can't get over it. All right. We're going to use more of that rub-on transfer. We're just going to place it right in the center. This one is large. It has a flag. And then because the two ends are a little bit bare, I'm just going to grab smaller ones and do the same thing and just rub them on each side. We want to be able to hang this and we want to be able to hang it safely. I love using these hooks and this wire. You can get this on Amazon and I do have them on my Amazon store, which is always linked down below. So check it out when you are done watching. I'm going to place two of the hooks, making sure that they're level and making sure that they're facing the right way. Just keep mind of that. I'm going to cut off some of the wire and I'm going to use two of their washers. I'm going to thread it through the wire, thread it through the hook and thread it again through the wire and just tighten it. Do the same thing on the other side and then you just wanna cut off the excess wire. This is gonna be strong, it's gonna be sturdy, and let's face it, it's gonna look professional if you wanna sell it. So then we're gonna take some of these felt pads. This is because this wood piece is heavy and it's thick. So I'm just gonna use these because if it's gonna be placed on a glass door or any surface, you wanna make sure it's not gonna scratch it up. We're going to seal everything using this top coat by Rust-Oleum. And once it was nicely dry, it's time to add some greenery right on top. 
I have this box filled with just random greenery that are just from other projects or leftover. I'm just going to start picking from it and picking some greenery to just make it nice and full and festive. Because the actual round is so festive and full of color, I want to keep the, the, the florals very simple. So I'm just going to use the greenery, staple it in place because it's so thick, you can staple it, and then hot glue a white flower. And this is absolutely stunning. It's my favorite from today. It is in my front door, and I love the way it turned out. We're going to go back to my porch. Let me show you my spring vertical sign. I did this one using Essential Stencil Stencil, but, oh, and yes, there's some bird poop. <laughs> We're going to flip it over because the other side is bare, and we can certainly turn this into a double-sided sign for my porch. Let's do it. We're going to clean it after we clean the poop off. We're going to turn it around and we're going to paint the one side white. Just plain white chalk band. I did it pretty rough because I want to distress it. And once it was dry, I'm going to use my palm sander to distress it even more. We're going to wipe it really well. And then we're going to bring in a stencil that is very patriotic and it says welcome. I'm going to place it right on there and then tape it in place to make sure it's secure. Now, this board I already had. So it was already cut to the size that I needed because it was on my porch. We can always have him cut it at the hardware store to the size that you need. The words and the letters on this stencil are pretty large. So I'm going to use a chalk paint brush because they're thicker for the bigger letters. And then we're going to use the essential stencil uh, brushes to do the stars. I'm going to use the blue Rust-Oleum chalk paint to do the welcome portion. Then I'm going to use the red for the stars and a combination of red and blue for the top little portion. This is so easy. You can certainly do this. Anyone can do this. Just some paint, tape, and that's it. So I'm going to sand it down very slightly, very smooth, just for a little bit more of a distressed look on the design. Wipe it really well. Then I took it to my garage. We're going to seal everything. We want to make sure this is going to withstand the elements out on my porch. And look how cute it looks. And remind you that it is a two-sided so I can use it as spring and then turn it around for Memorial Day and 4th of July. And because it's double-sided, you can definitely sell this for a profit. So smart to do. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Sacha Stencil, for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to take advantage of that percentage off. Everything is linked in the description box. And here's another video if you want to watch. Click on it. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.